uh, ma'am shall we start ma'am sangeeta ma'am that's okay no formal introduction required yeah let's let's get started yes sir few minutes at least sorry yeah yeah, yeah. that's okay i think i have delayed by 45 minutes We'll start the program now, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, Janani, please take over yes. the session. Good day to everyone. It, is, it gives me immense pleasure to extend to you a very warm welcome on behalf of the Mahalakshmi Women's College of Arts and Science, Department of Microbiology, who has clubbed all of us for the webinar entitled In Pursuit of Passion. Nothing can dim the light that shines from within. May we have a digital kutuvalakku? So we have a digital I don't see it. can change a moment one idea can change a world one step can start the journey but a prayer can change the impossible to a successful possible let us have our prayer song ஐந்து கரத்தனை ஆனை முகத்தனை இன்றில் இளம் பிறை பாலும் ஏற்றனை நந்தி மகத்தனை ஞான கொழுந்தினை புன்றியில் வைத்து அடி போற்றுகின்றே
I welcome our honorable chief guest, Mr. Balamurugan Shanmuga, Director, Corporate Relations, Learning and Development. Also welcoming our Managing Director, Dr. S.K. Thirukumaran Sir, Principal Ma'am, Dr. R. Kumudini Ma'am, Vice Principal, Dr. U. Indumadi Ma'am, and all faculties and students. Now, I hand over the session to Ms. Bhavani Priya for a formal welcome address. Good morning, Anandar, present here. This is Bhavani Priya from Department of Microbiology. I welcome you all today's session titled on In Pursuit of Passion by the Department of Microbiology by Mahalakshmi Women's College of Arts and Science in association with Internal Quality Assurance Service. First and foremost, since I welcome to our resource person, Mr. Bala Murugan Shanmugam. Welcome you, sir. I would like to extend my warm welcome to our Honorable Principal Ma'am, Dr. Har Kumidini, and Vice Principal Dr. S. Damasami, sir, and Dr. Yu Indumadi, ma'am, and my generous welcome to all my supportive faculties and my dear friends. It's my ended thing that welcoming you all on the behalf of Mahalakshmi Women's College of Arts and Science by Department of Microbiology. I feel privileged to give you a formal introduction about our resource person, Mr. Balamurigan Shandugam. Two decades of academic experience in various capacities of institutional development, brand building, reputation management, corporate relations, learning and development in premier engineering colleges, and five years of IT industry experience as a quality assurance professional, author leadership, and emotional alchemist. We would be really fortunate enough to have you with us today, sir. Thank you. I would like to thank for giving me this opportunity to propose welcome address on this special occasion. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Now, let us have the pleasure of listening to opening remarks. May I request our principal, Dr. Kumudini Ma'am, for opening remarks. Uh, Janani? Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am will join a uh, few minutes. You you carry on. Okay. Yes, uh, Janani. Principal ma'am will join shortly. So we'll move on to the session. Uh, welcome, Bala, sir. Thank uh, you, in spite of your free schedule, you accepted the uh, invitation and uh, uh, presented over here for a, a wonderful session. Thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, accepting us. Uh, and you can proceed with your session, sir, and handing over to you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Sangeeta, ma'am. Um, I was just wondering, you know, what's all happening online? Uh, I was pretty impressed. I mean, uh, during the lockdown, even we kind of did a whole lot of webinars. Am I audible? Yes, sir, you are. Um, see, another request is that at least few of them can switch on their videos because it feels a little okay. uncomfortable, you know, like talking to a monitor okay. doesn't. Uh, uh, students, yeah. uh, you can turn on your camera. But kindly make sure to avoid your external disturbance. So I was just wondering, you know, like, uh, Last lockdown, I think that's when I got uh, connected with um, Sangeeta Ma. So we never did the digital kutuvalak or digital prayers and stuff, but I'm very impressed. And a couple of days before, I had my cousin's uh, engagement. Yeah. And I was entering the hall, the marriage hall. I could see the bride standing on a table and besides that there was a screen and uh, they were taking the photograph the virtual betrothal the betrothal snaps i was blown he, uh, he sits in us the guy sits in us and this girl got married i mean engaged and the whole function uh, the photographer's enthusiasm in such a way that uh, 
they are virtually they are connecting both the couples so yeah so i saw that there was a passion with the photographers so now i'm connecting the dots to what we are going to talk today uh, there was a passion from the photographer he he really did it you know extremely passionate he was extremely passionate about his job uh, literally trying to trying his best to reduce the physical distance between uh, the bride and the bridegroom who sits in india another one sits in uh, in the us and that too from kambam I, i saw that guy he was he looked like a villager so that's again uh, very interesting to see the passion with which the people work okay now getting on to the topic um i was having a request to sangeeta ma'am i would like to have the session more interactive right so this is not going to be a usual webinar where you make the speaker to be a fm radio you put on to your mute and he is going to talk on something and you listen and make your attendance and get off the show not that that's not going to happen definitely for today so we need to definitely have an interactive session guys with me sure sir. hello uh, i think uh, the staff members are more energetic and vibrant students hello yes sir yeah i need more interactive session so that we can discuss a lot okay coming to the topic uh, in pursuit of passion right so what do you mean by in pursuit of passion anyone so i i wanted to ask one or two students to just give a brief about why did i choose microbiology what was the is is it by choice or is it by chance why is micro why do i need microbiology why do i need to become a microbiologist so that's that's the very beginning for us to start this webinar and before that uh, i believe hope all of you have understood the meaning of you know in pursuit of passion anyone can talk about in pursuit of passion there was a will smith movie pursuit of happiness how many of you seen that movie pursuit of happiness will smith that's one of the uh, legendary movies that hollywood has ever produced in pursuit of happiness is ma is sangeeta ma'am the hod yes sir. yes sir. Yes, Sangeeta ma'am, I think students are scared of you. Let them open their mouth and speak a few words. I don't see that you you have yes, a scare. Sorry? No, sir. They will talk, sir. They'll okay, talk. where are you? I don't see you anywhere in the screen. Oh. Can you see me, sir, now? Where are you? No, I don't. Okay, forget it. Okay, in pursuit of uh, happiness, let, let's get on to the business. Uh, see, guys. um the fundamental question um uh, tracks back to are we living or existing okay uh, you have to answer this question to understand this topic if you if you the answer is two are we living or existing and today's world almost 70% of the people they say that they don't live they exist so first of all you should understand the difference between living and existing right let me tell you a small uh, uh, brief intro about me which is very relevant which can very well resonate to the topic in pursuit of happiness right um i did my graduation in computer science and masters in computer science so almost 6 years yeah um i was a great student who used to get the syllabus just before the semester examinations how many of you are like me tomorrow exam semester exam much of where is the syllabus that's how i was um i did my masters in karunia university so i'll i'll just give a quick uh, recap about uh, the way i connected uh, this topic uh, to my life so um to answering to my first question 
are we existing or living guys i mean i am close to about 43 years age and couple of years later before i, I i'm sorry couple of years before i asked this question myself am i living or existing and 200% i felt that i was existing i was not living and the second question is that am i doing anything that is by choice or by chance so these were the two questions that i asked myself uh, for my next moves so this is how my story goes so i did 6 years of uh, computer sciences education uh, in a very reputed institution and in out of 6 years uh, instinctively i never had an attraction towards computers at all uh, despite when i did my uh, uh, when i completed my undergraduation and when i when i was planning to take up my post graduation uh, instinctively you know the people they used to say the instincts you know to listen to your mind voice listen to your heart many people say that and uh, most of the time when i close my eyes and ask for what do i really like and what do i want to pick up because you guys are in the uh, second year third year of microbiology so you can very well kind of resonate to what i'm talking and try to make changes accordingly if you want to live and not exist okay so um when i completed my graduation when i was about to take my masters uh, i had very good universities um, that were ready to give me a seat and i cracked all my interviews very well but somehow i was not very comfortable uh, taking up computer sciences i thought i, I always thought you know why should i always work with a dumb box uh, putting myself my creativity everything into my dumb box and i, I always felt that i was very good with people with people skills winning and influencing people trying to make a difference in someone's life so these were all my kind of passions and i was doing extremely well in those areas but six years into computer science and somehow uh, you know i could call my fate or whatever it is it, uh, it got me married to computer science which i never liked which i never liked so still i'm living with computer sciences which means like a marriage an unsuccessful marriage and an unhappy marriage with with computers so that's how i would like to call all right so coming to the point now after six years uh, i graduated in the year of uh, 2000 that's when uh, that was a problem why to k why to k problem was there and that was very difficult time there was very difficult times to get a job in it industry because of the huge recession that hit in the year 2k and uh, there after the the bug the 2k bug and so on and so so many complications were. that time i i took a calculated decision very calculated decision uh, that i don't want to be a software engineer i don't want to be a software engineer that was a decision that, okay having 6 years of uh, computer science education Uh, so what's the next option for me okay i chose to <clears throat> be a professor i really chose to be a professor and again 6 years if you can connect the dots sorry sorry my voice is little breaking because you know i had two hours call right in the morning from us so that's why the whole program got delayed and heavy talking over that okay now coming to the point uh, see i'm sharing you my life experiences uh in terms of because i always feel life is all about making difference in someone's life that's that's my that's my thumb rule for my life that i always uh, you know take it forward uh so where did i stop uh, is uh, is all everybody with me hello yes sir hello. yes sir only one voice yes sir yes sir thank you yes sir all right so i'll make sure that I, uh, it's i'll take it little interesting little tired because of the long call okay anyway i'll try to make it interesting so the point is uh, when i took uh, my decision not to become a software engineer that was the best decision ever i took in my life right so uh, i took up a professor job i was trying to teach computer sciences uh, for the uh, post graduate students and i was extremely good in my communication the well, rule number 1 point number 1 whatever you are and if you have to be really successful if you want to pursue your passion if you want to successful be successful in your personal life and professional life 
communication is important communication is not the language that you speak try to uh, uh, you know uh, use vocabulary you know bring in bring in all sorts of your expertise in the language no the ability to express your thoughts without ambiguity the ability unga manasla thondra vishayatha evlo surukama evlo clear you are able to communicate to someone and you are making an impact with them so that's what is communication and trust me guys if you if you have uh, you know great percentage in bi- microbiology say about 9 cgpa ug pg unless if you don't communicate unless it's not english it's not english english is just a tool for communication please understand the thought process is different tool is different and the way you present your thought process in any language so that's the communication but communication has to be a uh, short sweet precise and clear without ambiguity so the first thumb rule for you all if you have to be really successful if you want to be on your line of passion you need to be extremely communicative you need to, uh, you should be in a position to talk your mind speak your mind call a spade a spade so uh, you have to be you right so now coming back to the first point so i chose to become a professor and i was extremely doing well uh, because i was so young and energetic i was able to attract so many people out there and things were really going fine everything is falling in place but over a period of time because I, because i was not a great student with the computer sciences uh, i told you, you know like 6 years i i got married to computer science but which i didn't really enjoy so uh, only the theoretical uh, subjects of computer sciences i used to handle and the practical subjects i never used to handle because i never sat in front of the system see uh, now uh, you need to connect the dots in whatever the anecdotes that i'm i'm trying to present to you all right so this session i wanted you uh, to take two things into your mind one is that i am sharing my life experiences and second thing i'll be happy if if i'm able to make difference in someone's thought today at least a thought today a seed today if i'm able to you know implant in your mind and you grow on it right so i wanted you guys to be little attentive little interactive whenever you have kind of any place to stop me and ask me for your clarifications you are good to go boy right? okay so 6 years into academics i was working for one of the premium engineering colleges in salem uh, it's called sona college of technology i was the director and assistant professor over there so 6 years and um, i was into everything right from admissions foreign admissions i was the first person to send uh, to uh, to be on a mission to nepal and bhutan sri lanka to to talk to the government of uh, these guys the education department of these guys and get the foreign admission stuff why right. and then i moved on to hr so i was heading the entire hr part of uh, the college uh, trying to organize uh, uh, you know the training programs for the staff members in terms of their uh, subject knowledge domain knowledge and their soft skills their emotional wellness the other side i was focusing on the students to give them the employability skills training them on the employability skills and then uh, um i was into public relations blah 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 a to z of institutional development i was playing so it went all until 2007 right so 2007 again life at times throws you a good challenge for you to think much better so 2007 i was ready to get married wow interesting i was just 30 and pathetically those girls those kids those days they never wanted to marry a professor they wanted to have a software engineer type they have they wanted an id card they have credit card and they need a car and precisely a corporate lifestyle they were nobody was ready in fact my own cousin uh, whom i mean whom like you know she was kind of admiring me but then when it comes to life they look at money right no money no honey that was a lesson that i learned in 2007 so i said what the hell is this uh, so let me try it in it industry so you know like uh, i was a good communicator again i was a good communicator i used to communicate with clarity i i can win an inf- i mean today I, i have the confidence i i tell you guys today i have the confidence i can float on anybody uh, when it comes to communication when it comes to business development or any kind of thought process so that's a confidence that today i got and that's my passion 
with that passion, I'm just talking to you, right? So coming to the 2007, when I had the situation where nobody was ready to marry me, I don't know, got that. Um, then I, I took a chance. Why don't I try it in IT industry? So I was quite successful. Yeah, I never knew that I was. I can I can do very well. I got an IBM. I got an uh, uh, you know uh, I got an Infi as well. Uh, Infi I didn't look at it. I got an IBM. I got it in a US-based company called SunGuard Technologies. SunGuard. Uh, it's one of the fourth largest vendor in the IT industry. So it was in Bangalore. Very partial environment. I mean, lucky go life. Uh, almost eight lakhs salary in 2007. So fun, fun. Five days work, Saturday, Sunday parties. And uh, yes, I'm ready for marriage. Though. And thankfully, I got a girl. Yeah. So that time, my 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 kind of my cousin, she came to me. Yeah. Why don't we get married? I said, get last. Right. So people should look at values, not you. You know, make it up. Right. So. And three years, trust me, um, six years of uh, my, my graduation, post-graduation in computer sciences, seven years into teaching computer sciences, and seven years again, uh, I can say 40% of teaching, 60% of, uh, you know, the, the people work, the administrative work, the thought process uh, about institutional building and academics, so I was engaged. So almost uh, in 13 years, I could have, I can, for sure I can count how much time I was sitting in front of the system and I was doing the systems kind of a work, programming, coding, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, I never do that. But when it comes to IT industry, from morning till evening, yes, you are, you are supposed to look at the system, you're supposed to put it on programs, you, and for me, uh, the best part was like, I, I had to work completely with US clients, completely with US clients. But you know, I survived. Successfully I survived first year and second year I was promoted as a QA, uh, senior uh, QA engineer. And uh, I had appreciations from USA, Bala is great. Uh, because uh, other than computers, I, I used to speak every, every other thing with my clients and they got impressed. My, my God, so Brenda, uh, Dotty and all those people still I remember. Now coming to the point, this is where, see, I, I the way I'm going to present to you is going to be a little trappy, creepy, a little bit floppy. So what you have to understand is that um, I felt when I was about to start my career, computer science is not going to be my, my passion. And I always had a feel right from my engages that, you know, I'm a guy, uh, I, I kind of, you know, I want to live each and every moment of my life. I, I made sure that I wanted to live each and every moment of my life. So, uh, 2000, I took a call not to work with computers. And 2007, external forces acted me to work on computers. <clears throat> Three years, I was in Bangalore, had a fun filling life, got married, and uh, uh, I was delivering in the software at the same time I got a baby boy delivered for me. Good enough. Three years, just three years. And it gave me a feel Monday to Friday, 10 to 12 hours of work, log Saturday, Sunday parties and three years, married, newly married, a uh, lot of fun. But I cannot stand for more than for three years. Trust me. So this is the point. This is the point I wanted everybody to look at it. After three years, once my basic needs are satisfied in terms of my social needs, my personal family needs, the inner urge started again. This is not your place. And most importantly, you know, Bangalore was, Bangalore was once the Bangalore was a place of, uh, uh, you know, so much greens and beautiful climate and stuff. By then, 2009, 10, I really got pissed off because every day I used to drive uh, my car for 8 kilometers for 45, 50 minutes. At one point, I realized if I'm there in Bangalore for another 5, 6 years, I'm going to collapse. Okay. So, uh, again, the concept of passion came. Is this, I, I mean, I'm having a very good salary, reasonably beautiful wife, 
beautiful kid i i lived in a posh apartment i drove a beautiful car and my office was one of the best offices in bangalore but it didn't make me happy it was i wasn't happy so again i took a decision and uh, um, now that i can't take my decisions individually because i'm married so so many commitments are there none of my people my family members stood with me when i said like i'm going to say goli maro id which means like i don't i'm going to ditch id i want to get out of id after so much of uh, struggles okay uh, they said again you don't like bangalore fine accept it so you say traffic blah 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 so but don't switch over the domain we wanted you to be still in it field then uh, i said okay let me come to uh, tamil nadu but still they wanted me to be it but i don't want to be in it i didn't had any chance i was i miserably failed in convincing my folks so i had to relocate to coimbatore i took up an mnc again i worked there for about one and a half years in it space i was a manager by the remember remember i was a manager by the gas award seven years no intellectual engagement with computers seven years in teaching i was just managing three years in it i was just doing great but i didn't like but thing is that my subject fundamentals were strong and i had honest ethics with what i deliver what i do and i don't do anything which which is not comfortable for me which doesn't give me some satisfaction so i used to say i upfront i used to say if there is a no i always say no that's how i was surviving right so now three three things i gave you three dots i gave you 2001 dot that is the choice to choose teaching over software engineer 2007 the choice to get into it just for uh, uh, you know some personal commitment uh, even that is not rational there were other things uh, you know packing to the decision for me to get into it that's little personal so uh, i just want to put it in a lighter way that's why i bring brought on my marriage and stuff okay so 2011 and 2010 i said uh, uh, i am moving out of bangalore and again i had to be on it two years in it i was working for a uh, for a software mnc as a manager for products and stuff but still i wasn't happy something was eroding me corroding me i was not at peace i was i felt that i'm i'm literally rusting you know rusting tur pudikkiru i was i was kind of feeling then i said i told everybody i told my wife if you want to stay with me i'm going to be like this else i am ready to sign a paper to that extent i told her and 2011 i came back to sona my 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 alma mater and i thought this is my passion being with the students being with the academics taking the institution to the next level doing the brand building doing uh, being a career consultant guiding the young people see 10 years the thought was just just kind of in the hibernation germinating getting groomed getting nourished and my life experiences helped me to get on to this uh, clear thought process and 2011 when i started off as a director full time director for corporate relations and uh, learning and development so i had uh, 5000 students in my portfolio so every year i need to place about 1000 students and trust me in salem district uh, 2011 was a record it was a record pan india level i still remember the statistics uh, 707 students appeared for accenture out of 707 students uh, 540 students cleared the first round and second round hr final round was 454 and the offers given was 407 that was the highest ever offer made by Uh, any mnc in salem district in sona college and still it stands a record and that record didn't stop in 2011 it went on to 2012 13 14 consecutive four years consecutive four years maybe i can say i was in cloud nine i was the heart throb i became a heart throb i was cloud nine i was excited I was to the core excited right and again the life comes in the life shows you uh, the realities and i would recommend everybody uh, in this i think it's a girls college yeah so yeah 
uh, I would recommend everybody to watch one movie called um, Pair and Boo. How many of you have seen that movie? Anybody? It was. <coughs> it's a story between a father and a girl child who's a cerebral palsy child. The emotions they undergo and the way uh, they would have connected the life, the seasons of people and the emotions between a cerebral palsy kid and a father. Beautiful, beautiful movie. Yeah. Uh, you must all see. Okay, now my session is going to be a little bit philosophical, not philosophical. I'm going to teach you certain life principles, not teach you, share you. Uh, because knowing how to be is not that important. Knowing how not to be is more important. Right? Knowing what to speak is not important. But knowing what not to be spoken is more important, right? And always ask your question, are you living or existing? Okay, that's a bit deep question. I don't know how many kids out there understand this. But now coming to the dot, pursuit of passion. If you want to feel that you are living, if you close your eyes, nothing bothers you. Nothing excites you, okay? Uh, you are just enjoying each and every moment of life. And remember, girls, remember, girls, uh, when, I, when I say the word enjoying life, understand none of your physical comforts, none of your personality comforts, none of your family comforts is going to give you the word happiness. No. Right? And Mother Teresa used to say, uh, the most beautiful thing in this universe can never be seen, can never be touched, can only be felt. You know that? The most beautiful thing in the world can never be seen, can never be touched, can only be felt. So how do we connect this to the topic of uh, in pursuit of passion, just a moment, I'll just sip some water. So, where did I got deviated? Anyone? Anyone with me? Am I an FM or a speaker? What am I doing now? Any questions as of now? So let's have a coffee with Bala now. Hi, coffee with Bala. So why don't you ask me three questions until then? Uh, so that will give me an input. You have understood everything. You have understood nothing. Cheers. Yeah. Can anyone, uh, can anyone just summarize what is that uh, i have just given the dots i have not connected the dots yet so the connecting the dots will happen at the last of my uh, my presentation so tell me anyone uh, sangeetha ma'am just please have a watch on the time because when i when i start it's difficult to stop i don't look at the time okay. and until i finish it. so do i uh, are we running on six schedules that we need to finish by 12 30 or so Do we have a strict schedule, ma'am? Like I need to wind up by 12.30, something like that? No problem, sir. No problem. Okay. So I'm just warming up and I think I no. warmed up. Yeah. No yeah. You know, those viewers guys I ate no. my brain, uh, Sankita, ma'am. Seriously. Uh, I really got, you know. And uh, now I have to really appreciate uh, Sankita, ma'am, because uh, we, 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 are, we are not connected on Facebook or LinkedIn. And uh, like the way uh, you guys have got connected with me, I think during the lockdown, she attended one of my webinar where I moderated a session, I believe, where I moderated a session. I don't know, was Vijay TV near uh, Gopinath? With Gopinath session, you were there? Gopinath yeah, session. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gopinath. Yeah, so Mr. Gopinath session, he was, she was there. So that's when we got connected. But look at the passion of your uh, HOD, ma'am. Uh, so from then, uh, we... Probably we had three times when we discussed about, um, you know, can we have a session, sir? But it got delayed, delayed. And somehow uh, today uh, it happened. And again, 
10 30 I, I was not able to make it up so but still uh, the passion that what ma'am shows was phenomenal ma'am kudos to you ma'am you are doing a great job for your students all right i don't know whether how much sense i make uh, today for this uh, this kids out there but still okay where did i stop no sorry i forgot i have this problem i forget things forgetting things is very good actually you don't have to i live in the moment nothing bothers me nothing affects me cheers yeah where did i stop can anyone summarize can anyone summarize the three dots i have told you can anyone summarize the three dots that i have told you and uh, still those dots are not clear purposefully i have not made the dots clear because i believe in confusion is the root for clarity first get your people convinced then you create a clarity with them so that it stays strong in the mind that's how i work all right go ahead anyone can choice of life sir hmm? choice of in choices hmm choices okay. in our life choices in our life okay uh, just say your name introduce just a name uh, i know everybody are from mahalakshmi college and yes, uh, bio bio Ramya sir from microbiology department, assistant professor sir. I'm oh, asa. Oh, oh, okay. What about students, yeah. ma'am? What about students? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll pick up some name. I'll put Joycey. Yeah. So I like the word joy and happy. Joy and happy. So Joycey, why don't you speak up? Joycey, you there? what was your understanding so far in the last 20 minutes of my talk you understood anything or you missed nothing both answers are good both answers are valid choice is sir understood what you what have you understood okay now coming to the important points now Sir, your video is on structure. Hello? Sorry, got this corrected. Yeah. So, uh, some of the titles that I got... Your uh, video is not uh, visible, sir. Yeah, sure. Is it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, I had a few uh, quite interesting titles from my friends and family. Every influencing the students, helping the students. And today, my assets are the four years students whom I got placed. I, I can't say that I got them placed. I was instrumental in getting them placed. Well, four years. I, I think I have a little bit of uh, uh, internet uh, instability. It's not a little stable. Are you hearing my voice? Hello? Am yes, I audible? Sir. Yes, sir. You're audible. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Okay. So I do have some instability. I don't know what's, what's the problem. Okay. Now coming to the point. Um, still, um, after gaining a repeated, uh, uh, you know, being very successful for four long years, so almost, if you look at it, I started my career in 2000 and until 2016, I had a very successful career, which means like I really 
uh, had everything in, with me, whatever I wanted. But I was having always having a doubt. Am I living or existing? This is one question that you guys have to ask for yourself. Now, I think I should give you a clarity on what do you mean by living and what do you mean by existing, right? At the same time, pursuit of passion. So these dots are yet to be connected. I'm just giving the openings for you all, guys. All right. So 2016, yes. Um, like there is a very well dialogue, no? Like, uh, okay, that may not be relevant. No, fine. 2016, I was called off to Malaysia for a, for an international assignment and success creates arrogance, right? Success creates arrogance. I was actually, I think I was arrogant because of my success. Uh, 2007, 16, I left to Malaysia. I was flying high. I was very excited. I thought I was very happy. I thought I was living. I thought I'm in the pursuit of passion. Right? So, uh, when I boarded the flight to KL, adjacent to me, I didn't notice somebody was sitting to me, next to me. And uh, later I realized after three, four years, she was in studies for it. So from 2007, 16 to almost 18, two and a half years, my life went on a roller coaster, complete roller coaster. Nothing was falling in place. I, was, I wasn't happy. I, I, I mean, too much of uh, things which completely didn't fall in place. Completely depressed, right? Until 2016, my life, the life I had was professionally very successful, financially very successful. Everything was falling in place. I was one of the most successful placement directors in, in Tamil Nadu, Bala, Sona. Everybody knows, not just in placements, but on institutional developments, on academics, building the gap between industry and academia. So every part of uh, academical governance, academical development, I was able to make a big mark. But what was my state of mind in 2016? I was, I was very high. I was under the belief that I was on top of the world, cloud nine, whatever you can call. I forgot science. I forgot the very basic science, you know, gravity. What is a gravity? I was flying very high. I forgot science. I know there is a gravity. An object in the sky can fall any down, any time down, and you break. Okay. So now precisely putting it up because I need to work with the work with the topic. What I what I spoke two three years. Um, there was a movie. You know, the Lord Charan Tangranda. I think Giri. That, that, that dialogue was so fascinating and I connected very much to my, uh, you know, my life, my professional career and stuff. So precisely last three years, uh, not last three years, until 2009, yeah, and, until last three years, I had a very disastrous life. I was not in the area, I was not playing my league, I was not in my company in terms of my professional experiences, I was not in the right, right, right bright grounds. You know, I was playing in lots. Now I'm playing in Chepa, not even, not even in Chepa, Maidam, somewhere in Tambur on some ground. So that was my kind of a situation for the last four, five years. Now, I realized, now coming back to the point, when I thought, when I was grounded, when I was there up, I fall down, broken into pieces, then started believing science does exist, gravity does exist. So now there are a few things that you need to really take it up in your in your career fly high but little low um, excitement kills at the same time desperation also kills so after all this after 16 years of professional success and three years of perfect storm uh, when i look back and ask my question is this the passion 
that I'm trying to do. Of course, I identified being with the student community or being part of the academics is what my, that is my foremost passion. Uh, but I, am I living or existing? Am I in pursuing the passion? Yes, the last two years, after 18, 19 years of my professional experiences, I understood, yes, this is my passion. This is what makes me live. And I, I can confidently say the last two years, I'm the most happiest man in the world. Uh, despite mm, I'm getting not just even 50% of the salary that I was drawing in uh, the year 2010 today. Uh, so the salary I was drawing X and now it is X by two. But still, I'm, I'm living, I'm blissfully living, I'm tranquilly, with, with all tranquility, I'm living. Okay, now coming to the point. If you want to pursue your passion, first you should know what is your passion. And passion is something is very simple to define. When you do something, which means that you completely forget yourself involving in that and you're able to deliver something to your best and after delivering it, you will have a kind of a soul satisfaction. Something which is unexplainable. Okay. So any work that gives you a soul satisfaction, not just salary, not just social status, any work that gives you a soul satisfaction is what the most important thing for you to connect with passion. And now, your kids must be 21 to 20, 21, 22, 20, 21, 22. Now, until 30, I don't know how many of you chose to become a microbiologist and that too, after realizing uh, that you guys are pandemic kids, kind of, you know, Corona kids, like, you know, you've been the last two years been with the campus and the whole world is looking at the microbiologist, what positive answer they're going to come and say about Corona, is it going to end or is it going to come with another mutant and it keeps growing. So, um, yeah. So the way the life will work, probabilities that life will work for you, so you, you will have to, you will have to slog over, over a period of time, but always have a watch. Either na senjana, na sandosha markana. Okay. Uh, don't look at your job, uh, you know, job uh, ladder in the sense like peria company, say for example, microbiology, uh, you know, I don't, I don't remember any companies on the microbiology space, uh, maybe biotechnology, Biocon, Marila, Ocart, Marie, where they do a lot of stuff, Ocart, Sanofi, Aventus, Pasture. Uh, so don't look for, uh, initially, please understand the next two, three, four years, uh, the moment you finish off your graduation, the next four or five years, you are going to be a learner. And you are going to be a learner. You are still a learner in the college where you are paying the institution. And the next two, five years, you're going to be part of an organization and still be a learner where they are paying you. They are paying you for your learning. That's the attitude you, you guys should have. You understand? It's a huge difference, guys. See, please understand very clearly. Now you are in BSc graduation or MSc graduation in bio, bio, biosciences field. And to learn this, you are paying the institution the fees. And please have a mindset. It's not that after your graduation, uh, you know, you are employed and you are earning. No, you are still learning. Bring that in mind. Okay, next four, five years, you are still learning. And for your learning, the institution pays you, right? But you call it as a salary. That's a difference. And now most important thing, until at least five years, where you understand at least 30% that, yes, this work I like, this work when I do this, I enjoy this subject. When I learn this, I enjoy. So always have a personal diary for you and take time to record what you like the most in life. Right from Ambur Biryani or Talapaka Biryani or, you know, the best makeups available or the best perfumes available. Whatever 
whatever that creates a small you know trigger in your soul right happiness in your mind record that because you are in the early stages of identifying your passion trust me if you are not on your passion if you don't live the moment your life uh, you have to keep existing in your life and how do you understand the passion passion of work passion of passion for work passion for life it's nobody else can do it no nobody else can tell you what is going to be your passion what really excites you what really bothers you nobody is going to say and that you have to find for yourself you have to find it. so i advise most of my students i always say that have a note or now that you have a smartphone take your notes where you put a secret password for it even if you like somebody on the road yeah this is a time for you to look around the world right so don't write about the person you admire what made you to admire that person record right so whatever that appeals appears fascinating in life in living with people right from food right from dressing so you are creating a repository where you have got certain things that you have recorded after enjoying that state of bliss or after enjoying the state of happiness yes if i have all this in my life yeah so you have you are you are identifying your likes and passion and why do we connect likes and passion fundamentally please understand the most important lesson uh, that i have i i i think i can't say i have learned i'm still learning is that if you are not happy within yourself right whatever you do may not have that great perfection and happiness again is a rel- very relative term very very relative term uh, you know uh, if you all think uh, because the young girls out there and if you all think uh, you know completing my degree completing my post uh, post uh, graduate degree or doing a phd getting into one of the best institutes research institutes on microbiology and getting a great uh, six digit salary and getting married to a beautiful uh, handsome guy who works for an it industry or wherever but has six digits of salary if you guys think getting that kind of a job and getting that kind of a person if you guys think that's go- that's the end of all the problems in life if you think i tell you married for 14 years the real problem starts after that right the real problem starts after that the real life starts after that so you need to understand the job the salary the social status the family backgrounds can nothing those are all enablers those are all kind of enablers they can push you give you that comfort cozy stuff but that's not going to make you happy if you really think for yourself i see people with two i i normally see people in two ways people with common sense and without common sense that's it that's it no profession no degree no status no salary no whatever it is i see people with only two ways how many people have common sense how many don't have i try to connect people only with common sense predominantly i see there are not people many people with common sense so be be choosy in your in your selection whether it is uh, life or profession so now coming to the point now i spoke about my you know the way i started my career 16 years of very successful career four years uh, it was like a life of pie uh, i was sailing with a richard parker alone in the sea with very minimum resources four years of life and again i asked my, myself a question am i living or existing or am i in my passion am i enjoying what i do am i living every moment so it keeps going it keeps going now that to a certain extent yes 
I have identified my passion after having a great success and after fail being after a big fail. I, I know, yeah, it's it's equal. High success, just disastrous. Now it's balanced. Now there is no there is no desperation, there is no anxiety, there is no excitement, and now I'm in a state of nothing excites me, nothing bothers me. Simple. So I'm happy within myself with whatever. And I also believe no constraints can put me down or make me happy. It is me who can make me happy or put me down. Nothing on nothing on it can disturb my, my state of mind right now. I don't I got them, I don't get impressed with anybody. I get impressed with beautiful intellectual minds and not intellectual faces. And if you're very smart, you will understand when I say. I get impressed only with intellectual minds. I look for serene souls. I don't look at beautiful faces. No. So this is some. These are all some clues that you guys have to take it up. So now coming to the point. How do you understand the passion? Please allow yourself to fail big and be happy if you are failing uh, in the early stages of your life. You are learning life practical wisdom. When when people ask, you know, I don't think today I gave a very clarity oriented. Uh, probably Sangeeta ma'am would be a little disappointed. Balasa, this is not the, what I saw you a couple of months back. You know, the way you spoke the clarity. Of course, I you know I told you, you know I'm speaking with little half brain. It's very difficult to. Uh, sit with one and a half hours with the US guys and uh, eat your wine. So I'm sorry if I have disappointed any of you guys. But coming to the point now, if you want to do anything with perfection, with satisfaction, fundamentally you have to be happy. You have to live. And for living and being happy, the so called uh, the system in terms of the comfort, luxury, salary, blah, 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 nothing matters. And for which you, everybody, I tell you, one hour a day, you you just work on your body, either by exercise or walking or playing some games, listen to music, listen to read, start reading books. I wanted you guys to read two books. One is Kaizen. I, I, maybe I can type it on uh, the chat window. One is Kaizen. Another one is um, these are the two books. Can you see my uh, what I have, what I have typed, texted? Can you? All right. So what is this Egika? Is that uh, there was uh, I think I forgot the author. He was a U.S. guy basically. Uh, I mean a foreigner. He was he was not a Japanese. Um, the whole world was looking at Japan in one angle. How come? Japan can have so many centennial people, which means like people who have crossed 100 years of age, still healthy, still happy. So what could be, uh, what could be, this was so fascinating. What could be, uh, uh, you know, those reasons that are helping the Japanese people to live beyond 100 years? It's not the number of years that you live. When, when they analyzed it, they, they came up with certain very interesting factors. Uh, that's uh, that's called Igikai. I don't want to explain you what is that Igikai. If you wanted to understand Igikai uh, in YouTube, if you can text it, Igikai review or the crux of the Igikai, the, whatever uh, in nutshell you can read about it. So these Japanese people, they lived, they lived long. Is that happy? Okay, living long doesn't make you happy, but living happy for long years makes you happy. So when all they did a root cause analysis, they, they put a mic microscope, if I have to talk in microbiology language, the one word today, the whole world, microscopes, zooms, is the word happiness. What is happiness? What is true happiness? Right? The whole world still at invariably of different age groups, they look at the one word with a microscope. How, how can these guys be happy? Yeah? So this Igikai in Japanese, one part of the Japanese islands, they had one area of people, almost their average lifespan is 90 years. Then he asked, how can they be 90? Is, does that mean they eat healthy food? They work a lot? No. No, it's not just that. 
they are happy right from the they know what they want they know what they like maybe uh, the zen philosophy that the whole country you know uh, learns and practices meditation because when you look at the whole chinese lot and Jap japanese lot or the mongolian races they talk about too much of zen philosophy but again chinese are different and japanese are different uh, let's not talk about that but japanese again I wanted you guys to understand the lifestyle of Japanese. Uh, how do they live long life? It's not just long life, but quality life, blissful living, peace of mind. So, which means every moment they live and they do everything they like. And basically they connect the dots to the passion. Right? Okay. Uh, is there, yeah, three things. If you want to think better, keep your mind and uh, you have to have your fit mind you you need to have a clarity in your mind and if you need to have a clarity in your mind you need to keep your physic fit you need to definitely work on your physical fitness physical fitness is not six uh you know uh, whatever the hell it is uh, six packs or eight packs no uh, i mean I, I can't talk on those lines too bro so uh, please but being healthy physically gives you the mental fitness when you are mentally fit you will be able to think better with clarity when you are able to think better with clarity you will be able to identify your passion when and remember always in your mind at the early stages i i, I say my friends my student friends uh, please if they are boys and until the last breath uh, the kind of practical wisdom that you guys gain because of that failure, because of that all those stuff, you know, uh, it's going to help you out in making a blissful living. So, now, one last thing. Natural, uh, maybe this will not be understood when I say this. I wanted everybody to take down this and think over this and try to ask people around you, uh, maybe I dictate now, natural abilities. If you have a pen and a paper, or if you are in front of a, uh, uh, I mean, if most of you, I guess, you are on your smartphones, just open your notes or text window and start texting this. Natural abilities without education, has attained more glory. Natural abilities without education has attained more glory than education without natural abilities. You got it? Natural abilities without education has attained more glory than education without natural abilities. So the best classic example is me. That is, I told you, my natural abilities were people skills, you know, leadership qualities, Training, communication, corporate relations. This is my natural skills, natural abilities. But the education I chose was computer science. I was a postgraduate in computer science and I was about to get myself uh, registered for uh, PhD. I, I have a personal uh, acronym for PhD, which I can't say because your professors are there. So now my natural abilities was completely communication. My education was computer science. So which brought me glory? My natural abilities got me glory. And people used to say, Bala, if you were an MBA, you would have been somewhere else. I don't want to be anywhere, but I'm happy where I am. The point is, okay, I don't want to explain you. I wanted you to work on this. And second thing is that allow yourself to fail as many times as possible. Until, until you recognize you are in a state 
to a greater extent nothing bothers you and nothing excites you it's it's going to be difficult okay but this is, should be your journey this should be your journey this is a journey of japanese this is a journey of igikai which means the tranquility you please take on the word tranquility t r a n q u i l i t y okay maybe this sounds little heavy maybe for a bsc student i'm giving you a doctorate thesis kind of a lecture but still this gradually uh, whenever you fail yes see that if because you 2021 20, 22 this age and something knocks you down very badly this is the most important lesson i thank god for giving me and pray for more failures and more struggles when you are in your age which means you learn how not to be the most important thing in life is learning how not to be rather learning how to be what not to be spoken is more important than what to be spoken right yes now i'll take some questions if at all you guys are not still slept as you guys are still awake so a healthy body a fit body has a healthy mind a healthy mind has a clarity of thought a clarity of thought with a healthy mind a strong mind will take more failures and if we get more failures we get more practical wisdom we know how to be and how not to be we know what to be and what not to be and next to 5 6 years though you graduate out of your college still you are learning and for learning you are getting paid and if you have that attitude in your life you keep growing in your life you keep thinking in your life and books are going to be your best company uh, and music and books and physical fitness these three compositions will help you to get a clarity of your life of what you like to understand what you like first you should get exposed to what is there available first right okay now if there are any questions what everybody slept hello good afternoon wake up sir you can ask your question sir ask your doubt onnume puriyala tranquility ngrar bliss ngrar hollywood padam paathuma irukku continuous ah moochu vidam english mattu nalla pesaar mattu yosippanga ஒரு <laughs> 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 the way you speak is uh, yeah, that's not it gives me idea. more that's not, okay uh, hey, go ahead hmm. the way you speak is uh, it gives me more exciting to make failures to make mistakes in life and to do something better in my life so thank you so much sir no for your session and actually i'm not from microbiology department but i'm from basic computer science this is hmm. my first year i am going to join So oh. thank you sir for your session. Fail big until 2526. Look for failures. Learn from that. And uh, there was and see a lot of YouTube videos ma. Uh, there was something called the Joe Stocks. In that Joe Stocks uh, there was one guy uh, Madhura VTR Balan. Yes, Madhura VT Madhura Balan uh, okay uh, you should listen to my story the greatest people unnoru vishayam vaalkaila romba uyirathukku ponavanga uyirathukku ponavanga nariya per kaanam poiranga adukapra parachute lege kaanam poitaanga vaalkaila mega periya uyirathukku ponavanga adhe edathila nelachi nikkravanga romba naal irukravanga avangaloda history ah paathinga appadina they would have started from next to nothing onnume illama avanga vaalkai aarambichirupanga nothing they would have started 
and most importantly nobody would have supported avangaloda idha vandu everest la avangala ovvoru idha yeri pora mari even the family wouldn't have been very supportive none of the social socio economic factors would have been supportive but with persistence and perseverance and failures they would have reached the top and people who are still on the top is just because they are very simple they are grounded they are humble and simple evlo per yaala andalum humility humbleness simplicity understanding life and understanding that you are still a learner i have no rabana lekka mudiyadhu maandha eduthu right okay thanks next thank you sir first year student is asking question and third year what are you doing yeah second year and third year so how did you to identify enama how to control anxiety and fear how did you identify your fear no matter how did you identify it adu adukapra edhum kekla sorry career goal sir your career goal career goal vandu rendu vishayama see when i work for myself uh, you know see end of the day i am a person look back and see am i happy na sandoshama irukna sandoshama irukna ora na nimmadi irukna okay so i always think what gives that happiness what is the parameter that gives me that happiness what is the trait that gives me the happiness na adhe pome constant watch la vechitte every day when i sleep every day when i get up how is my mood if my mood is good why is it good if my mood is bad why is it bad so there is always a contrast constant retrospection in my mood because i believe na nimmadiya amaidiya irundanna da enakku na nimmadiya thedikka mudiyum ondra rendavathu nobody else in the earth can give you that happiness unless you create your own happiness for yourself so i am married i've got two kids my son is in teenage uh my daughter is in ninth for fourth standard yeah so i i strongly felt over a period of time the peace of life and happiness is you create for your own self others yes they can give you the environment but it's you it's you who creates the happiness for yourself for which you should know what makes you happy and it's a constant search it's a journey so ipo enakku 10 varshathukku munadi enakku edhu perusa therinjado like i feel that it's nothing and today whatever appeals big to me the 10 years later it appears nothing so for me now i fix my mind i programmed my mind in a way that at any point of time nothing bothers me nothing excites me as simple as that which means that and it's sandoshama vanda dukkamo vanda that's it i'm happy but another thing when i work for myself எனக்காக நான் சுயநலமா உட்கார்ந்து ஒரு சில வேலைகள் பண்ணி நான் ஜெயிக்கும் போது அதுல ஒரு சந்தோஷம் இருக்கு சங்கீதாம் அந்த விஷயம் தெரியும் எனக்கு செஞ்சு ஒரு சில வேலைகள் my efforts i apply my brain i apply my efforts and that gives me a certain amount of happiness yes but when i do it for somebody else who is not part of me and if i am able to help them make them difference in their life and career adu undu it's where a level kick ma so enak idha vida inda kick enak romba pidikum so always i look for uh, uh, channels where i can try to be of some use to somebody yeah that's it that, that's the way i i still grow i'm still learning i'm still growing in a group or they nan solla we are all learners and co-learners in a group like you won't believe uh, zoho or top most director irukanga uh, the i mean the top level celebrities are in my group uh, sangeetha is part of that group and uh, we talk about only three things Th- this is very important you asked me this question the, this is very important enna appadina what is that something is happening oh sangeetha ma'am's group ah huh? what's happening who's controlling the screen sorry sir i think one of the participants are going correctly i got uh, deviated okay okay so the point is uh, 
uh, in my whatsapp group i have about 125 professionals in the group veterans in it veterans in academics college chairmen ceos almost everybody but we talk about only three things the best things for life the best things in life the best things of life and second thing how to lead a blissful and tranquil life so our thoughts our post everything is about only this so this is how uh, we so still at this the point is though they are great leaders they have achieved greater heights but still they look for they use a microscope to see what is the real happiness because if you find your real happiness then you start your pursuit for passion without being happy harmonious within yourself you can never be successful you can survive you can manage but you can't be at excellence right so there's a difference between surviving managing and being excellence being at excellence so yeah so there was another thing how do you control anxiety and fear i can show you some videos on this because uh, i i had this problem i had an anxiety problem 3 years i i was completely uh, under anxiety and stress but you know what um one common thing is that never assume that you are stressed never assume that you are depressed because i was greatly assuming that i was too much stressed i was too much depressed to an extent i was taking anti depressants also but that's that's insane that's very insane never get into any psychiatric drugs some of them i don't know some of them might be using pills for sleeping even some professors or staff members uh i was asked a simple question one of my friend who sits in uk as a psychiatric doctor hey macha why do you need psychiatric drugs why do you feel you are you need to have medication for anxiety or stress or depression i said yeah i feel stressed i feel depressed i want to take they gave me anti serotonin serotonin induces blah 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 and uh, he asked me one simple question where is your mind i said here please talk mindful don't be nonsense where is your mind here a fellow this is a helix this is a physical structure and you have a skull in this prosencephalon mesencephalon myelencephalon it's called brain where is your mind so mind is again a collective consciousness right so when i take pills to control my anxiety to control my fear it acts on my brain and not on my mind so when it acts on your brain it numbs your brain maybe a little bit of dopamines and uh, all the uh, pituitary gland secretions and keeps your brain numb and makes you insane not sane right so the point is if you feel you are stressed very simple walk out walk put a put a headphones enak my wife used to say and enak nee thaliya kattittu nee thaliya idu eduth maadi i i'm always on my headphones either on youtubes or my songs i i have almost my entire system is full of songs how many of you have uh, listened to this latest song uh, hebba ash hebba ash i think you guys should listen to this song it's a single is song it's trending in insta it's trending in everywhere it's a single is song listen to it it's very beautiful it's very melodious very rhythmic it soothes your soul so the answer to the question how do you control and anxiety maybe one simple way is that stop thinking on something so i see sometimes i say to my more thinking more confusion less thinking less confusion no thinking no confusion as simple as that right okay any any other questions maybe if you are skeptical to ask you can text it in chat if you really feel to or if the session is over 12:46 i i don't have any issues because starting is what my starting is my problem again stopping is also my problem so sangeeta ma'am please take a call yes sir yes sir any questions sir you have any question Kritika, you put the feedback link, uh, Kritika. Yes, sure, ma'am. Okay. So, so I'm texting few books uh, uh, in this. Okay, uh, we must read the Robin Sharma's I A M Club. That's 
uh, that's a wake up call uh igikai and case and those two are book names ma those are all not uh, something else those two are book names and for you guys to beginners uh you must also read monk who stole the ferrari uh, though it's very novice monk who stole the ferrari and most importantly at least read one tirukural every day tirukural la ella adhigaram nu solla look at uh, for every practical challenges in your life for if, if you see that you have a problem in your life connect that to any adhigaram in your tirukural adlo solvanga ma i don't see much better book than uh, you know harvard or i mean than tirukural when it comes to any other management course so uh, you see my entire uh, the, the back the entire story is books i go with books that teaches me a lot that's romba or vishayam romba bother panuda just take a break two days go sit in the nature relax yourself sometimes more thinking is the root cause of all problem root cause of all anxiety stop thinking at the most what can happen always ask yourself a question at the most what can happen and provided if we don't have the delta variant 3 or 4.0 like sankar's uh, robo 2.0 reloaded unless we don't have uh, any other variant mutant of uh, corona virus coming in the next few months and we are not very sure as of now uh, for until 22 22 we can say a happy new year to each other still that's a big question mark so why should we bother why should we worry as long as you don't cheat somebody you show you don't betray somebody nothing is right and nothing is wrong so just try to be happy first that's the first thing if you are happy you will be able to identify your passion so and if you are getting your passion soon you will start living and you will not exist that's it Thank you, Bala sir, for having this wonderful session. You know who's on the line. You know who's on the line. Who is speaking? The Sangita ma'am is speaking, sir. Oh, Sangita ma'am. Ma'am, where are you? I don't see you at all. Switch on your video. Yeah, hi ma'am. Yes, thank you Bala sir for having this wonderful session and I hope uh, students have uh, learned much thing about uh, from your session so and Sangeeta ma'am I'm not able to hear anything. Is the second sec? I mean, is the session being recorded? Yes, sir. It's being okay. recorded and streaming on YouTube too. Oh, YouTube! YouTube. My God. Yes, sir. Ma'am, Nikhil, I I think I was not much of a clarity. Ma'am, we gave you pan and pearl letter. Okay. Anyway. No problem, sir. She I look tired, na? Do I? Never, sir. No, my face looks tired, and I'm tired. But the talk was not tired, sir. Oh, so talk was uh, not tired. Talk was not tired, yeah. but you got tired because of the talk. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Not like that, sir. Okay. Uh, students must uh, learn much thing about uh, from your uh, talk, sir. Really, really, your uh, speech was nice, sir. Um, uh, Sophia. Yes, ma'am. Um, can I? Yes, uh, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Janani. Um, let's not get into a formal uh, vote of thanks adal ma'am god bless you kids so i have given my email address right my email address is tendral77 at gmail.com so tendral is my girlfriend's name okay my wife is not listening yeah tendral77 at gmail.com is my email address if you have anything that you would like to ask me about 
life and living and about your career i am there ready to uh, help you out anytime feel free to connect with sir our, our vice principal is on uh, yeah. so oh. uh, some a uh, few work about the session sir yeah sure now may i request our vice principal dr yu indumadi ma'am for valuable remarks uh, good afternoon all uh good afternoon sir so this is uh, the maha marathon series of uh, malakshmi women's college so we are doing it on the 6th day so very happy to have you in this webinar sir um uh, mr balam balamurgan shanmugam director corporate relations learning and development emotional alchemist brand management specialist such a big thing <laughs> it's nice uh, uh, to talk about on a topic uh, in pursuit of passion such a wonderful talking a uh, topic actually when sangeeta ma'am said uh, uh, this is the topic i was really excited to uh, get few uh, Uh, words from sir so what is that passion means because everyone has got a com- confusion between ambition and passion what is that passion so sir made a clear uh, things about the passion just a few lines what i feel about passion is uh, participant just identify uh, uh, what actually feels very happy if you are doing something on any other things which it may be a job or your work which is very passionate that is passionate means it should be very happy and excited as sir said don't be anxiety to doing certain things which we say as a job so career job ambition everything is different you don't confuse yourself so passionate means always it gives energy yes so you will feel excited that's called the passion so sir has explained uh, very beautifully uh, thank you sir uh, uh, being a part of this uh, session on behalf of the management principal staff and students i thank you so much uh, for making this uh, webinar a grand one thank you sir thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am Uh, we have a one participant um, who is willing to talk now. Yeah, please. Uh, Sona Kumar sir, please. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. is gone because of network issue okay so maybe uh my mail address yes and if uh, sangeeta ma'am if anybody has got some questions maybe you can get it from them and uh, uh you know maybe textually i can uh, put it much more clear um you put it in whatsapp to me and i can answer to them yeah sonu is back yeah sonu go ahead So no, yeah, go ahead. I'm listening. So no, you have to unmute yourself. Yes, uh, uh, Sonu sir. If you have any question, you can ask, sir. If not, shall we move to the vote of thanks? Gratitude is one of the least articulate of the emotions, especially when it is deep. Let us call upon Sonu for vote of thanks. 
Good afternoon, one and all present here. It's such an honor for me to get the opportunity to thank you all dignitaries on behalf of Microbiology Department. I extend a warm welcome to the people in the gathering. I would like to express my gratitude to all esteemed delegates of the webinar for their presence and contribution to make this webinar a great success. I extend my gratitude to our honorable chief guest, Mr. Balamurgan Shanmugam, to take out time from his busy schedule to grace this event. Thank you, sir. A special thanks to our principal, Mr. Mrs. Kumudani Ma'am, for providing immense support to make the webinar a successful. I extend my gratitude to my, Mrs. Sangeeta Ma'am, head of the department, to organize a webinar amidst of this pandemic. Thank you so much, Ma'am. I must try. I must thank the organizing team volunteers for working hard for the past few days to make the webinar successful. I thank the participants for their presence over the entire webinar. Thank you, everyone, for making this event a grand success. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now I request all the participants to turn on your camera for a group photo, please. Please stay out a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bala, sir. Thank you, ma'am. You made the day. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I made the day or broke the day. I don't know. Not sure. Anyway, stay blessed, all of you. Stay blessed. Thank you, sir. Be happy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Send me the YouTube link, ma'am. Send me the YouTube link. Yeah, you can send it to me in WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.